Accurate fitting is critical to the quality of vision obtained with any spectacles. The method used should be carried out with care and be seen to be done in this way. Shortcut methods such as dotting with a felt tip pen have been shown to be less accurate than the method shown here and they stand in stark contrast to the care taken by optometrists and the quality of the equipment they use in their consulting rooms. Okay, now that we've chosen your frame, I now just need to take some measurements. I'll just ask you to pop the frame on just wherever it feels most comfortable. It is very important to ensure that the frame is in its final fitting position before you take any measurements. Okay, that's great, thank you. The corneal reflex pupillometer is designed to measure the distance between the visual axes and not just the distance between the pupil centres. Before you take the distance PD, set the working distance knob to infinity. Okay, I'll just get you to hold this just like a pair of binoculars. There's a green circle with a light in the middle of it. I'll just get you to look straight into the light. I'm just going to start with your right eye. The black line should pass through the very centre of the reflex on the client's cornea. The dispenser now flicks the occluder lever across to measure the other eye. And your left. And back to your right. Okay, that's great. Thank you. The first alternative for step three is to draw your own graticule on the inserts with the help of a parallel rule. The book gives details on how to do this. Several lens companies produce parallel rules for this purpose. The second alternative is two small height rules such as those from Hilco. These are positioned in the bottom rim of the frame and clip around the top rim. A third method involves the HMS, or Height Measurement System, from Essilor. This gauge clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point, which, in the case of progressives, is the centre of the pupil. A fourth method involves a gauge called the Y-stick. This gauge also clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point. The Y-stick allows you to lock in the position of the person's natural posture by locking in a pendulum. Once locked in, the height is determined by superimposing one of the horizontal bars over the other and checking the height in that position. Finally, we have the eye point gauges from Hoya. While these stickers are intended for the mirror method, they can also be used to measure heights. Digital instruments are now available that can measure monocular PDs, monocular heights, and also measure vertex distance, face form angle, and pantoscopic angle. It's vital that you make sure that you're at the same height as your client. Use a wall mirror to do this if you can. A pen torch can help illuminate the cornea and provide a corneal reflex as a good reference point. For heights, the pen torch can be held at the same level as your eyes and your client's eyes. For PDs, 
the pen torch would be held directly under your eye. So the lenses that you're getting, they will change colour in the sun. And the dispenser needs the client to relax to ensure that their posture is natural. When being measured in step four, they may be sitting up straight and not in their natural position. The dispenser does this by engaging the client in conversation while continuing to note the positions of the markings. The optical centre for an aspheric lens must be dropped one millimetre below pupil centre for every two degrees of pantoscopic angle. This is the easiest method. Okay, I just need you to raise your chin up for me. Down just a little bit. Back up again. Okay, I'll just get you to hold that position for me. Notice that the lenses are perpendicular to the floor. The dispenser has artificially set the pantoscopic angle to zero, so this will be the final height of the optical centre. Order the lens position according to your monocular PDs, and the heights according to the final positioning of the markings. The heights should be measured relative to the deepest point on the lens at the peak of the bevel. 